The waiting is almost over. The most important Manchester derby in recent memory is about to start. It's been billed as the biggest game in Premier League history. A win for City and they'll be top with just two games to go. A win for United and they'll be just a point away from their 20th title. It may not officially decide who wins the league, but this evening's victorious team will feel they've moved a step closer to it and at the expense of their most fierce rivals. Asiaya Torek. Skipping around a couple of challenges. Brings in Nazareth. Zabaleta's on his overlap. Goes instead to Gareth Barry and back to Samir Nasri and into Aguero and Ferdinand stuck his leg out and it goes out for a goal kick. Another half chance, nothing more. Aguero just popping up for a volley and he couldn't quite get the purchase he was after with Ferdinand on top of him. De Gea comes for it. Here's Nazareth. Now David Silva, faced by Giggs. Lovely ball into the path of Nazareth. That's another City corner. Stoppage time, two minutes of it at the end of the first half. A few chances. Killed in by David Silva and turned in. Vincent Company, Manchester City ahead, right on half time. Cometh the hour, cometh the captain. Well, Manchester United and David De Gea in particular have never looked confident on high balls. They've never defended a high ball with any great authority. And right on half time, Vincent Company may well have scored one of the biggest goals in Manchester City's recent history. A game City have to win, and the skipper is there with a header sent off in the derby in January against United. He more than makes amends tonight. A game of few chances, and Vincent Company draws the deepest blood from United. I mean, Rooney's at his back. Here's company in towards Lescott. Tevez controls it, brings in Yaya Torre, faced by Wayne Rooney. He's got beyond Wayne Rooney, and it was turned away, I think, by De Gea's legs. Giggs. And away by Clichy, Yaya Toure with a touch, Aguero's tussling, and it breaks for David Silva, and Aguero wants it, goes instead to Yaya Toure. Torre running at Manchester United, Ferdinand in front of him, Torre hits it, just past the post. David De Gea threw himself at it, but it whistled by the upright. And Yaya Torre has been given licence to go forward for this very reason. He shot just outside the post. 18 minutes to go. Good ball. Nazareth. Yaya Torre on towards Aguero. Little spin, little turn, the block doesn't quite fall City's way. Here's Giggs for United. Lescott comes across, Dion makes a challenge. And it's a free kick to United and a yellow card for Dion.
Along the sidelines, Alex Ferguson and Roberto Mancini having to be separated. Well, it's very rare you see Alex Ferguson like that. Tension's even getting to him. Zabaleta with a header. Yaya Torre turns away, keeps on going Yaya Torre. Still Yaya Torre, and still! Oh, it's wide! Great opportunity. And with his left foot, he flipped it out of the reach of David De Gea, but also wide of his post. It wasn't far beyond, was it? Ooh, not quite. Here's Tora. Strong, powerful. Difficult to remove from possession. Nasri. Into the path of Zabaleta. And Aguero's just behind him. And Clichy to hit it. Good save by De Gea. Here's Nasri. United a little bit stretched here. Aguero can't get there. Nasri onto that left foot. Oh, it's beyond Aguero. Here's De Jong. Now Barry into the path of Aguero. Can he turn and get a shot in? Flags up. Flags up. Well, this could have been the moment as the ball was drilled in by Zabaleta and hit by Clichy but saved by De Gea. Alex Ferguson has done everything he can from the bench. City, seconds away. Roberto Mancini, seconds away. We're into the sixth minute of five of added time. Company launches it into the Etihad Stadium sky, and it's all over! Manchester City have won the match that they had to. They go top of the Barclays Premier League. There are handshakes from Sir Alex Ferguson, who in truth didn't get his tactics right tonight. City never allowed United one single opportunity. And Vincent Company, the skipper, the hero, come at the hour. He applied the finish. The header out of the reach of David De Gea. Chris Smalling will have to live with the moment. He knows he was the man that should have marked company. He missed him. City don't care. And they go top of the Premier League. Two matches to go between Manchester City and their first league title since 1968. It seemed mission impossible a few weeks ago when they dropped eight points behind United. But boy, they never give up. Boy, they don't know when they're beaten. If anyone wanted to know if this set of players had the character, had the belief, had the ability, well, all those questions are being answered right now. City, top of the Barclays Premier League. Manchester City won, Manchester United nil. City, two wins from glory. Manchester City, a must-win game, and they've done exactly that. No one wants to leave the ground. The songbooks are coming out. They will go 
to Newcastle United, knowing that a victory will keep them top of the Barclays Premier League, knowing that if they thought it was all over, they were very much mistaken. Scenes like this are to be savoured, are to be enjoyed for so many years. Manchester City, well, games like this were to decide whether they would remain in the Premier League, whether they'd get promotion from the lower divisions. This was about going top, and City have won it.